Hello there. Today we are going to talk about yet another NFT project, which you can already see on the screen. But before we go into detail, I need to remind you of one important thing, which is that I am no financial advisor and you should always do your own research, considering the fact that I am just a random person talking about stuff that might have potential in my opinion. And since you are an adult and it's your decision to make if you want to invest in something that I show you on my screen, it's also on you if you lose money on a project that I show you in the past, present or future. And with that said, let's jump right into the Ghosts project, which is a collection of living avatar NFTs. And what they mean by living avatars, you can see right here on the MYT site, which is a project that creates live motion tracking avatars, meaning that you could bring your own NFT avatar to life. And since this sounds pretty complicated, I will show you an example later on in this video in which you were able to create an animated version of yourself which was able to mimic your movement and expression. But since this is just one of the many things the Ghosts project has in store for us, let's go back to their Twitter and check out what they have in store. So right away in their pinned comment we can see that they are doing a giveaway right now for which you only have to do these couple of things listed right here. So if you are at NFT LA in a couple of days you have to look out for Ghost Spies on March the 29th. Then you have to find Ghost Scissor Reels and record your favorite part of it. And then lastly you have to share it on Twitter with these tags to be a part of this giveaway. And obviously getting stuff for free is amazing but to check out what this project is going to do in long term we have to go on their website on which you can see that sadly these ghosts are already minted and they are selling for roughly 0.15 ethereum right now which is pretty cheap in my opinion and this might change in the near future but only time will tell and this is only my opinion below this we can find a short backstory but before we go into that i want to point out this art right here because in the middle obviously you can see a ghost from the project but in the background you can see some amazing artwork and obviously you can see some similarities between the ghost and the background which comes from the fact that the same artist created both and the artist is no one else than mr misang some of you guys probably know him but for those of you who don't know him on the site super rare we can find some of his art and as you can immediately see it's pretty detailed and what blew my mind when i saw this is the insane price they are selling for here for example space hard rock machine sold for 88 ethereum and another very insane example is company entrance which sold for 130 ethereum back then this was only 250k today this is more like 400k and i just want to point this out because i do understand that this art style might not be everyone's cup of tea but I think we do all agree on that 130 Ethereum is a pretty insane number and this is the same artist who created the Ghost project. But now with that said, let's take a look at the backstory. Before the series Modern Life is Rubbish by Mr. Misang, the story of when the world was more colorful than today. In unknown dark space, a black portal opened. We succeeded in connecting the ghosts of long dead people. Why do all citizens in modern life is rubbish look similar? Was this world like this from the beginning? Let's call out ghosts, review memories and be possessed. And if you are possessed, you might look like this. And obviously, these are just examples. This might change in the future. And keep in mind that you probably need the NFT to be possessed. And besides the possessed part, as I explained before, we also use these ghosts as vessels to look into the past. And the brief way how this will work is explained right here in the memories part. For the ghosts, the memories of their lives remain blurry. Choose the one you like from random memories. And those memories are displayed right here as those discs. And as you can see, they are good and bad ones. And who knows, there might even be some pretty insane ones like, for example, Darth Vader for the bad ones and you might be the father of Luke Skywalker if your ghosts get this disc. Because as it is in our lives, your choice will have a small impact on the world, which is something that we should always have in mind. And now lastly, because I do think that Discord is probably the single best way to keep up to date with almost every project, we will have to take a look at their Discord. And starting in the general chat, you can see that in the couple of minutes that I turned on my Discord, which is a good indicator that this is a pretty active Discord. After checking out the general chat, I usually go in the FAQ and the roadmap section to check out what this project has planned for the future. Because this is a pretty important point, considering the fact that we are not pumping and dumping, but we are looking for long-term projects. So as you can see, the roadmap is divided into a few stages. First of all is the ghost distribution, which is the minting process, which already took place. 
Next up is the memories part, which I also explained a couple of minutes ago. Next up is the fragments part, which is more or less an airdrop. So if you participate in the memories part, you will have the chance to get those fragments. Those fragments are hand-drawn one-of-one legendary NFT cartoons by Mr. Misan. And as I showed you before, at least in my opinion, this art is pretty insane. And if you don't like the art, I am pretty sure that you would like the money you could get from selling those NFTs. Next up will then be the possession part, which I also already talked about. But what I haven't mentioned yet is that you could use those ghost characters in a lot of webcam based apps, such as Zoom, Discord, YouTube, or even Twitch. So you could, for example, go into homeschooling or home office and use your ghost as a character, which I'm sure might confuse some people you are talking to. And now lastly, the fifth and last part is the creation of a DAO. And for those of you who don't know what a DAO is, DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which means that if you are owner of one of those NFTs, you will have voting rights for important decisions the project will make. And now lastly, as promised, I want to show you the motion tracking they are doing in collaboration with MYTY, which you can find in the sneak peek channel in their Discord. And because I am using a widescreen, I can't show you the example right here, because if I go into full screen, this looks like this, which is the reason why I downloaded the file right here. Be the first to haunt the metaverse with a ghost from the Ghosts Project. And at the first glance, this might look very simple, but I can ensure you it isn't, because you have to track the motion of the person talking, which is hard to do on its own. And in the meantime, you have to put the information you got into the animated avatar you have right here which you have to do more or less instantly because if you don't this will look laggy. Which brings us to the end of my video and which I once more want to remind you of two things. First of all, this is no financial advice and you should always do your own research. And the second thing I want to remind you of is the giveaway they are doing right now. So if you are based in LA or at least will be at NFT LA on the 29th of March, I would recommend you look out for those ghost spies to be able to get some free merch and even take part in the giveaway which you can find right here in the small announcement channel in their discord and on their twitter in the pinned comment. And with that said, have a nice rest of your day.